What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. If you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today we've got another what sold video. And oh my goodness, I think I broke my record for amount of items sold in the weekend. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna touch those weekends money-wise that I sold all those pools, the $7,000 weekend, $6,000 weekend. But we might get pretty darn close today and I'm definitely gonna break my record for amount of things sold. I don't know what happened crazy crazy weekend but first as promised we're gonna get into the giveaway the six winners i'm about to announce if i pick you i'm gonna use a random comment generator all you gotta do is dm me make sure you dm me within five days that gives you a couple days to watch this video uh, if you don't claim your prize then we're gonna have to give it away to someone else let's see who's getting the first gift card here Saul Hernandez, congratulations, $25 gift card. Make sure to DM me on Instagram at millennial underscore profit to uh, claim your prize. All right, time for another winner. Another uh, $25 gift card here. Evan with the $25, congratulations. Uh, make sure to DM me on Instagram to uh, claim your prize. Here we go, last gift card here, then we'll get into the reseller boxes. Alind, thank you. I hope we hit 10k too. Make sure to hit me with that DM. All right, time to get into the reseller boxes. Let's see who wins the first one. Who do we got? Who do we got? John Rivera. Congratulations, John. Make sure to DM me to claim your prize. All right, giveaway number two for the reseller boxes. Ian Williams. Let's go. Congrats, dude. All right, last last winner here. Who do we got? Who do we got? Ethan Williams. Ian and Ethan. Let's go. 10,000 up and soon. So, yeah, guys, everyone that won, make sure to uh, DM me. Again, I'm going to give all the winners five days to message me before we pick new winners. Uh, I just... I can't have you coming in like two months and how do I know it's that person? They could just DM me and say, hey, I won this prize, like someone that watched it that long down the road. So I gotta put a time limit on it just to make sure, hopefully you've all watched it in the right amount of time. And you can DM me on Instagram at millennial underscore profit and we can get you your prize. So now I'm going to gather everything up. Again, a ridiculous weekend and I don't even know what money wise it's going to be, but amount wise, and we had so many like bigger items. Again, I'm out of the pool game, but my bread and butter is picking up and I cannot wait for quarter four. We're going to absolutely go off. I've been saying that all along. So let's get everything gathered up and then we'll show you everything that sold and what it sold for. All right, here we go. Start off with some small things. Sold three little wristbands here for 10 bucks, had 30 cents a piece in those. So this one for six bucks again, $30. Again, at 30 cents a piece in each one of those. Holy flag weekend. This was from that huge flag pallet I had. Still got tons left and I got more in a storage unit too. I just keep bringing a little more home at a time. Got all different kinds left that I probably still haven't even gone through yet. But I pulled all of my listings and relisted them all. And this is what happens when you relist on Facebook. Oh my gosh, I sold 79 flags. I, I don't even know what to say, but I had $3 to $4 per flag in each one of those and sold them all between $17 and $20 a piece. Now let's get into shirts here. We sold two Guy Harvey shirts at $15 a piece and I got them each for around $1, $1.50 at BitFTA. Shout out eBay Poshman for getting me into uh, the cleat game. Paid $20 for these, sold them for $55. Nice easy flip on those. Those are $140 retail. Uh, then we got these Nike Air Max slides. These I got with my last Kohl's cash that I had from those pools that I got in that last pool video. You know, the one where I made $1,500 in four hours flipping four pools. Well, I got like $100 Kohl's cash and I bought two pairs of these and I bought a pair of these and I already sold one of these and one of those. Uh, got these women's slides obviously for 25 but they were free and sold them for $33 instantly. These I listed the other day. These were $50 but free 
because it was Cole's cash and I sold him for 70. So I ended up making more than what I actually spent, which is the goal. That way I can make that money back after fees and shipping. And we got this, it was a $1.99 Virginia Commonwealth VCU and I sold it for $18. We got these, these were $7.99 at Burlington the other day. I knew it wasn't great profits, but they were selling very consistently. So I listed them at $22.99 and flipped them like that. Make easy, easy money, about double my money there. Then we got St. Louis Blue shirt. This was from Marshalls a long time ago, two bucks. Sold it for $17.99. That long-term inventory really pays off when it starts to go. Then we got this little car hammock. I actually bought this for my dog, but it didn't fit my car. Um, it was 10 bucks and I ended up selling it for 30. It's just over a pound, so it's probably gonna cost like eight or nine bucks to ship, but I'm not gonna lose money on it. Still made a little bit of a profit. Obviously I didn't buy it to resell, but I could have taken it back, but I saw they were selling, so I decided to give it a shot, and it's gone. Here we go. Earplugs are going to start taking off. I haven't even listed all the ones I've gotten yet. Uh, just listed these 500s that I got in that video from Habitat for Humanity for 5 bucks. Sold them for 40 bucks. a pack of 500. We got this Sensi stand. Again, got this from one of my mom's uh, clients. I'm splitting the profits there with her and we got $25 on that one. This guy, I wish I would have filmed a video on this. This was the other day. I was filming a shoe video with my friend Austin. You'll see that in a couple days. But we don't even know what this is. It's some type of like battery charger or something. So I just looked up this number. Uh, we were at Goodwill and it was $15 from Goodwill. And the sold comps and the sold through rates were ridiculous on this thing. So I decided to just pick it up and I sold it for $200. So very good sale there. We got this Shohei Otani. This was from a Lids hat palette, um, but it came with some of these OYO sport things too. And I sold him for 15 bucks. Had nothing in that because I'm way in the profit on that palette. Uh, jersey from the palette, I think it's Jokic for the Nuggets. And I sold it for $46, had 17 in it. We've got two pre-packaged things already because these were from the Cook Group and I had to get them out quick. So they came in like Saturday, which it was too late to get them in the mail, but I don't want people canceling those orders because as soon as I get a hot item, I usually list it. And uh, they usually sell be right before I get here because I can see when it gets here. So I can turn the handling days to however many days it's gonna take to get to me so I don't get dinged on the shipment overdue. But then as soon as they come, I ship them. So this was an Xbox controller for a Toon Squad one for the new Space Jam movie coming out. Sold that for 100, got it for 70. I was gonna return it, but I was like, you know what? Let's see what happens. Uh, that's the nice thing about the Cook Group is lots of the stuff is from big companies like Microsoft for that and you can return the stuff if it's not good. So there's really no risk whatsoever, but we decided to give that a shot and actually sold it. And then this was a limited edition GI Joe action figure that I paid $22 for and flipped it for 68, like two hours later. And then we got, oh, we actually sold two of these. I just forgot to get the other one out. This is a Denny Hamlin champion, but it's from 2019. He actually didn't win that year, Kyle Busch did. So I don't remember where I got these hats, but it, obviously they printed for everyone that was in the hunt and somehow these just ended up probably at a Marshalls or something and I ended up selling this for like $35 I listed it as like a limited edition because he didn't win it I literally said that uh, pretty crazy but yeah the NASCAR hats these were all from the same place I'm this was a while ago I cannot remember where I got these but some dude went absolutely crazy I didn't know what to price these at because there were none like them. So I put them at between 30 and $40 each. And some guy literally bought all of these. And a couple of them I have more than one. So I don't think he's reselling them. I think he's literally collecting them because he bought like one of all these different kinds. This one's pretty cool. Liberty University with Jeff Gordon on the side. But yeah, he bought literally all of these. And then I don't know what, did something happen with NASCAR because someone else bought this and another person bought this. This one was 25, this one was 30. I don't know what happened, but the NASCAR hats took off. We even got another one over here. That's just like a $12 one. Again, that's one I've had for a long time. And I got that from Fanatics and I ended up, I didn't lose money on it. I paid like three bucks for it, just trying to move it. Come back to more hats. We got this Rutgers hat. I paid like two bucks for that and I sold it for $17.99. Got this from a Lids hat palette. This Gophers visor sold it for $15. All these golf hats I got in a recent palette. Um, 
Those are really nice. The PXG, I'm actually getting between 45 and $60 for all of these. PXG, if you can find that on golf hats, especially co-branded with New Era and a golf course on the front, like you cannot go wrong there. And I barely had anything in those. That was an absolute steal. I still got a couple of those left too. And we got this Ohio State hat. I paid like a dollar for this at that Ohio State auction when they were going out of business, one of the Ohio State stores, and I'm selling them for $18. Someone bought two of these Cincinnati Reds hats that were $20 each. They paid $50 for the pair, and I can ship them together, so easy money. That's my last two of those. I don't know if you remember, but in one of my videos, probably about a month ago, I said I would take a chance on about seven of those. Did not expect them to sell that well, that fast, but the Cincinnati Reds are hot, so their stuff is selling great for me. Picked this up literally two days ago. Columbus Crew for $6. This is their old logo. If you're not from Columbus, you don't really know, but they changed their logo and everyone kind of hates the new one. So all the old logo stuff is selling great. UNLV hat. This is from the Lids Hat Pout a long time ago and sold that bad boy for $13.99. New Mexico State Aggies. One of my favorite small school hats that I picked up. Two bucks. Sold it for $18. Uh, again, another hat palette one, Rain FC. I think that's a women's soccer league team. I'm not sure exactly, but I sold it for 20 bucks. Uh, this is again, another small school from TJ Maxx, two bucks for the Bison and sold that one for $17.99 as well. Another $17.99 Alabama Crimson Tide hat from a Lids Hat Palette. And last hat, Dog Pound, 10 bucks. Picked this up a couple videos ago from Marshalls and sold that guy for $27. So that is everything we sold this weekend. Ridiculous amount of stuff. I have called in backup. We got Sonny here for the help. He's a big help. And then Rob's here. He's gonna help me package stuff up because we have 140 things to do. So let's dive in. It's noon, about halfway done. Time for a lunch break, I'd say. Rob just went and I paid for lunch since he's helping me. So gonna have some pizza. Let's go. Just finished packaging. Rob had a stop timer going. Four hours and 43 minutes, 130 plus packages out, 140 items, but a lot of uh, multiples. Crazy weekend. All right, so that will do it for this weekend haul. Now we're gonna run over the numbers. On eBay, we sold 56 items for $2,003. Facebook Marketplace, we sold 80 items for $1,477. Mercari, we sold four items for $66 for a total of 140 items for $3,546 in sales. Subtract out our cost of goods sold of $872, our shipping of $781, and our fees of $356 for a net profit of $1,537. So again, super blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job and I'm not making any of these videos to brag whatsoever, simply to motivate and show that you can be a full-time or part-time reseller in 2021. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. You can also check out the cook group down below. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.